Go to YouTube. YouTube.com. I am already logged in. If you're not logged in, go ahead and log yourself in. Over here on the right, you have upload. So you can either click upload from here or you can go into my account and my videos. And upload from here. So you click on upload and then you get this little description thing here. You write the title of your video. Mine is called Raw Food. And then you're going to write a uh, description. I'm going to put for my description just the recipe in here. So the list of ingredients. Let's see? So you fill out your list of ingredients, whatever you want to put there. And your video category. Scroll down until you find something that fits the category of your video. People in blogs works here. And some taglines so that when searching, people can find your video. So things related to your video or related to the people that you want to find your video. I'm going to scroll down here. You've got broadcast options. Usually I just leave it public by default, but you can click on it if you want to make it viewable. If you want to make it private, then you would click on private and you can go to your list of people that are in your friends groups and choose which ones you want to see. You know, that kind of stuff. So um, if you only want one or two people to see your video, you can do that. So public is the way most people go, of course. And then you have here uh, a date and map, if you choose. I usually skip that, but we'll just log in here just so you can see. You can put the date of your video in here when you recorded it. Today is November 23rd and I did this video today. So you can do that or you can just click today and it will give you today's date. Um, search the map. We can do this. We will type in Sudbury because that's where we are and see what we get. And there we are. That's it. Okay, um, and then we will close that. Sharing options. I again usually you'd leave that to default, but just in case you want to see what's in there. Um, allowing people to leave comments. You can turn that off if you don't want people to leave comments or if you want to approve them first. Comment voting. If you want people to be able to vote, that's good. That's really insignificant if they vote on comments. It's just a uh, yay or a nay if they like people's comments. Most people don't even bother with that. So you can just leave it as default. It's not a big deal. Then we have video responses. Um, you can allow them or you can allow them after approving or not at all. And a video response is if somebody uh, likes your video or wants to comment on your video and decides they're going to just make, instead of leaving a, a, a text comment, they're going to make a video and leave that for you to click on, then, you know, that's the option there if you leave that open. Ratings, if you want your video to be able to be rated by others, and, and uh, ratings it's not, doesn't really have a huge effect. However, like if you get a lot of ratings, those are kind of things that sort of move you up in the YouTube level. So it's kind of recommended you leave that. Embedding. This is if you want other people to be able to embed your video on their websites and things like that. Um, 
or and that goes for yourself as well if you put no embedding then nobody can you can't embed your uh, videos on your own website either so you might want to leave that open um, syndication make the video available on mobile phones or no and you know mobile phones and TV I'm not sure if anyone uses that probably some people do um, I leave it to default doesn't matter to me if someone wants to watch it on their phone that's their choice okay so after we go through all those options your next option is use quick capture that's if you're recording a video as we speak on a webcam or a video that's hooked up or a camera that's hooked up to your computer if you've created your video from a digital camera or a video camera and you're going to upload it now from your computer you would click here so upload video then you have the browse option where you have to know where on your computer your video is so I have my Guild of Abundance and food videos and you want click open it's there in the window and upload video and it's a little slow progress here but way it goes okay as you can see now the uh, video is uploaded it, it takes a lot the time amount this one only took about five ten minutes um, because of the you know it's three o'clock in the afternoon p.m. Eastern Standard Time not as many people on YouTube. If you try and upload a video in the evening, it's going to take a lot longer. So I've had it take up to, you know, an hour or two hours before it uploaded. But uh, here you go. Anyways, this is what you get. Video uploaded complete. Thank you. Your upload is complete. This video will be available in my videos after it's finished processing. This is the embedded um, code if you want to embed the website or put it on your on your sorry embed embed the video or put it on your website or something you don't necessarily need to copy and paste this right now you can get it later here if you want to upload another video or here you want to now go to my videos and see the video so here it is here my raw food but as you can see scroll over here a bit um, it says here added when it was added uploaded and then it says processing please wait so until that again can take anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours or more before it's finally processed it's usually closer to uh, 15 minutes half an hour or so um, once it's done process then your video is available you will get in here there will be a uh, clip from the video if you don't well I'm gonna 